Hi. So, so many things have happened in this last month uh, or so. Uh, when I bought Big Beluga, I remember I had I bought it, took it to the mechanic, stayed it stayed there for a couple of days, uh, just putting some things in proper order for driving. And then I tried, well, I sold Little Beluga, those kind of things that you probably remember. Uh, I had to, I called the DMV or I tried calling the DMV here in, in Param, where I am a resident of Nevada, so I am a Nevada resident, so I had to bring it over here to Param to register the new vehicle. And I tried calling to get a permit from them to drive it from Texas to here. And I learned through their website that they don't do that. Maybe in some other states, other states do it. This ones don't. So, but they do give you three days to legally drive your vehicle from the moment you bought it, or you purchase your vehicle, all the way to the DMV, you have three days. One of those days was lost at the mechanic and bringing all the things in from the hotel where I stayed. So I only had two days left to get here from Aviling, well, Lubbock. And um, so the first day I drove six hours or so getting used to the uh, driving this van it was difficult because I was used to driving the the Grand Caravan that that it's so easy to drive that van I mean you turn you spin if you want to it's super easy easy to drive you don't even notice this one was a revelation because, of course, it's a 25-year-old vehicle. Everything creaks and cracks everywhere. And uh, there, there were a lot of noises. I was not sure if they were normal. And, of course, it's more sluggish. It's heavier. All those things. So, it was kind of a... a, a test driving the first day and I drove only six hours. The following day, it was Sunday, I had to get here one way or another because Monday morning I had to be at the DMV. It was my limit. I couldn't play with that factor of, okay, I am a little late, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know, I am very compliant always, so I put it on me, I have to drive. So, I think it was about 13 hours, if not driving all the time, almost. Uh, I did a stop here and there and everywhere to rest, to use bathrooms, all those things. But it took me 13 hours to get here. And uh, I didn't notice it at first, but gradually, as days went by, I started noticing my back super tight. So I tried stretching a little bit, but no, it was pain. It was real pain. And the stretching only was not helping. So I thought, okay, since I have to have my annual checkup here uh, with my doctor, I will bring the subject up and see what she recommends. I told her, I think I need a chiropractor because probably I drove uh, these many hours and probably I, I did something to my back and probably a chiropractor will just adjust me and I will be fine. She says, oh, no, 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 no. Let's try physical therapy first. Whatever. So, okay. It was, it took a couple of weeks to get the appointment, blah, blah, blah. 
okay i went to physical therapy and he said nope this is not for physical therapy he held me he pulled one of my legs and whatever he says this is your hip that was displaced but this is better uh, f this is a case for a chiropractor not for physical therapy i think what i understood i may be wrong physical therapy is to restore strength in your muscles so after a long stay at the hospital uh, if you have to come back well yes physical therapy will help you because it will help your muscles go to work again in my case it was just a sudden pain that was triggered with some motions so he says no nope, this is for a chiropractor okay so i had to go back to my doctor say hey this is what the physical therapists say. Can I get a referral for a chiropractor, please? So now, uh, in two days, I have a session with a chiropractor and hopefully maybe one or two more sessions to make it right. The physical therapist, with that thing he did of pulling my leg, it was freaking weird and kind of painful. It did help a lot. Um, I am much better, but the pain is still there. So I am confident that the chiropractor will finish the thing. And that is why we always say as nomads, plan your trip properly so you don't have to drive more than two or three hours per day if you're going a long distance because it's going to hurt you and here is the proof because of course obviously i mean the seat has an arm rest and the other arm was on the um, steering wheel so probably i was kind of displaced i was not keeping the proper position and over those many hours it, it took a toll so if you're planning a long drive there are two things you should do to help yourself one is driving no more than two or three hours because your body won't, won't be able to take the stress of being sitting in the same position even if you stop as i did to walk to go use services even if you do that, you go back to being seated again and driving, being sat and driving for several hours after that. So that is one thing you can do. Moderate the amount of hours you are on the road. It's going to help you a lot. The other thing is I always use compression socks up to my knees because your your feet are down there in lymphatic liquids or fluids are lympha is not circulating so it will accumulate around your ankles and your foot uh, so the best thing is to have compression socks so you protect your circulation circulation is key for all of us, for all human beings. Uh, when you're a kid, kids never have those problems. Why? Because they don't have inflammation, they have great circulation, so their body is constantly um, rejuvenating kind of thing. We are not like that. The funny thing is kids usually get hurt by running like crazy and bumping into things. Um, that is the only thing that hurts them. We developed the capacity of not bumping into things and hurting ourselves, well, some of us, um, but the price we pay is that we don't have that super powerful circulation they have. And our bodies do not react the same way. That is why you're never going to see a kid with swollen ankles. 
they are in constant motion. That's fantastic. So, because of these sessions, Paramp always finds the way of trapping me here with medical issues. I don't know, one way or another. But it's okay. We have to have a change of oil uh, of our system every now and then. So, I wanted to go south and be in other places like Yuma or Quartzsite because I am going in that direction. But I have to finish my chiropractor sessions. I hope it's going to be just two or three and probably that's it. And once that is done, I will be able to drive south. So I guess I still have one more week here. It's okay. The good thing is the weather has been helping me a lot. Uh, usually in Paramp, in December, more like towards January, you may even have snow at night. And these nights, it has been fantastic. The lowest temperature has been around 36, which is fantastic because you're inside, you're covered with your nice blankets, and you are having a good, comfortable time. So that's fine. Uh, hopefully in one week I am out of here and hopefully I will be able to show you some things I'm doing. The plan for this year is go to the RTR, show Big Beluga, uh, because everybody shows their vehicles and you make friends and people get ideas and you get ideas from others too. So hopefully this year uh, I am going to bring you some new things from the RTR and uh, we are going to see how it goes. By the way, since I have to be here for at least one more week and since my natural dark blonde is growing and it's showing, I made an appointment with a local hairdresser. She says she's confident she will help me very well um, because she is a colorist. I hope so. Uh, the idea is to have low lights, meaning for the guys who know a lot about physics and mechanics and electronics and all those things, just in case you don't know what low lights are, it's the same as highlights, so they just grab uh, some strands of hair and they dye them in a darker color. So in the highlights are usually called, uh, how, the, how we call the lighter colors. So I am going to have some low lights in my same color, natural color, which is an 8A. I like it ashy. So I am going to have low lights in, uh, in my natural color so it blends in while it grows. And I will have a haircut. I don't know what yet. I want to discuss it with the hairdresser, but uh, very soon. I don't. I cannot promise exactly when, because I think my appointment is on Tuesday, but I'm not sure. Uh, so after that, you're going to see the change. It's going to be darker, yay, and shorter somehow. I don't know yet. So yeah, that is a change that is coming. Thank you for being here. Thank you for always supporting me. I mean, you are amazing. I really love you guys. Thank you. And uh, give me a thumbs up if you can. Subscribe to the channel. We talk nomad things. The message today is do not drive more than two or three hours and wear compression socks. So you are in good shape and happy ready to tackle whatever you have to do in, at your destination. Uh, be proactive, take care of your body. Bye. Waking up it's gone, it leaves us feeling cold again. 
picking up the stones our hands were made to feel and moments like these they show us what we've got when we ain't got a thing we've got us we've got us 